I've been busy this morning with the earth bag workshop, but uh, these guys have been out here since the morning working on the land. They're working on the third mulch pit. So we got the first one way down there. This is the second one. And this is the third one, which we're just probably going to be working right alongside this acacia that's already there. Great job, guys. Doing a good job out here. <laughs> I don't even know if I can... Oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> that's actually a pretty good shot of him, I think. It's, like, it's enough, it's enough air time. Easier? Yeah. I mean, that was kind of a little. Okay, let me get the pick. Let me put that. Where your ass was at? Where your ass was at when you and JJ was just digging this hole? <laughs> That for the camera. We're growing some natural potatoes out here. I might have chopped into it. What is that, Jess? We're gonna have to get that identified. So Jess and I are out here working today, finishing up our gray water system. breaking up the bottom of a clay pot that we're going to use to put over the pipe or put under it. And the idea is that it will help to keep the mulch from backing up into the gray water pipe. It'll be also be used as a method to just slow down the water in case there's a just happens to be a large rush of the gray water coming through there. It should just help to uh, to mitigate that flow. to do here just fill the rest of this up with mulch oh and plant something <laughs> probably plant uh, a tree in the middle here something that could use a good amount of water and now we were thinking for the edges the inside edge would be would you say a little bit more water needy plants? And on the outside edge of the mound, plant something a little more drought tolerant. So one thing that we took from our house that maybe no one's gonna miss is all the mulch 
from our tree and our bushes out there and we made a nice start to mulching up our pit and we stuck a bunch of mulch underneath the pot there just so that when uh, the water does come through there it's not um, getting stuck right there on the bare soil it's uh, gonna be soaked in through the mulch and then able to spread out from there good job out here I don't know if it's going to rain, man, but it looks, it looks like it wants to. As you can see, with this basin, we started getting a decent amount of mulch in here. Still have a ways to go before that's all done. But one more addition we've been making to these basins. And remember the number one rule of water harvesting is always plan for overflow. So while this is a gray water basin, during the times of the monsoon season, the rainwater might overflow into this basin, filling it up. So what we've added here is just a pipe on the back side of the mound here. So when water flows up too high, it'll backflow into this pipe which is at a slightly lower grade than the front. We've added that to the back. We added an overflow pipe to the back of each of the mounds. That'll give us the ability. Right now we don't have a particular place where that overflow is going, but we have the pipe in place and we can always attach to that so we can redirect it to exactly where we want it to go. So we have that option available to us. It's crew in his little crew shack that uh, Peter and Jessica put together for him. Keep him a little cooler on these uh, hot days out here. So all in all, the total cost of installing this gray water system was maybe 80 to 90 dollars and you got to remember though that is for three different trailers so really for one trailer still in this gray water basin less than 30 dollars very affordable excellent reuse of the gray water can help start growing uh using it for growing trees and plants and it's very economical very easy system to set up. Uh, I highly recommend checking out uh, Build an Oasis with Gray Water Systems. That's where I got all this information from. Definitely a great resource. If you find out what we're doing out here interesting, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe uh, so you don't miss any of these uh, videos we're putting out. It's just going to get a lot cooler, a lot more information out there. It's going to be interesting. So you don't want to miss it. Also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.